I'm Tuan Tran and I'm at the uh, Laboratory of Immunogenetics. We're at Twinbrook 2 and located between Rockville and Bethesda. Uh, we're trying to investigate uh, basically how the human immune system responds to malaria infection. I was actually born in Vietnam, but I came uh, to the United States when I was very young. My father is a physician, so he in introduced me to medicine and science at a very young age. And I've always been uh, interested and very fascinated with infectious diseases. In high school, I basically got involved into basic science research. And only when I went to graduate school as a, a medical student that the one thing that fascinated me the most was malaria as a disease. I actually happened upon an uh, a talk by uh, the late Robert Desowitz uh, when I was an Emory medical student and he told us about malaria and how it was a disease that affected millions of people at that time killing about a million children every year and even though it was treatable it was still a major problem and there was no vaccine available um, so that kind of got me hooked into uh, malaria research and ever since then I've been uh, working on uh, malaria. And we study a, a village of people in Kalafubugu, Mali, and that's where our study site is. Malaria, as you know, is a, uh, an infection that can infect the bloodstream. So the way to diagnose it, and the gold standard for diagnosis, is basically looking at your blood under a microscope. And that's the key to figuring out if someone has the parasite or not. Um, but we delve further and we actually use the fancier techniques using molecular approaches. So we increase the sensitivity of defe detecting someone who's infected by using PCR approaches. Um, so that's basically to see if you have the gene for the parasite in your blood uh, by amplifying it. We also perform flow cytometry, which is essentially looking at the proteins on the surface of a cell or inside a cell to figure out their differences between the blood cells between different subgroups of individuals. We also do a lot of protein work related to figuring out if someone has or does not have certain antibodies to parasite proteins. So we can basically link up what we find um, in the lab with what actually happens in the field as far as if they remain healthy or if they become diseased. Um, so we can basically associate whether certain markers, certain biological markers are relevant and are associated with disease outcomes. So this 3D plot is a principal components analysis and each color represents a grouping of the patient samples. The, the black spheres represent the kids who are immune to malaria. The red spheres represents the kids who basically become infected and have a fever right away and the gold spheres are the ones that are, sh are partially immune to malaria. Using the knowledge that we learn from just understanding the basic mechanisms of immunity uh, to work that into developing uh, vaccines using a rational approach because the vaccines that we've uh, tested in people in non-endemic areas have worked great, but every time we take it to the field uh, in children in West Africa, it seems to perform less well. So why is that and how can we make it better? Even within the NIH, we collaborate with many other labs. Um, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I came to NIH, because everyone's so open to working together uh, to achieve the common cause of you know, understanding malaria immunity. Yes, yeah, so this was working fine. Okay. So this protein is expressed basically in very different flavors um, depending on the parasite. If you're interested in science, I would start early um, and just kind of get involved into a lab early as a high school student. And uh, even if that 
area of research is not particularly your interest, while you're still young, you just want to get the experience. And then later on, as you're exposed to more things, because I, I was involved in uh, kidney research when I was in high school, and that has nothing to do with what I do now. But that foundation of just learning how to do science and being around really intelligent people, uh, being open to what you eventually will be potentially your lifelong pass passion. Thank you.